Corticosteroids can cause many different side effects, so the mnemonic corticosteroids should help you remember them better. The first C stands for Cushing syndrome, which will include a lot of the following side effects, as well as things like the moon faces and the buffalo hump. O is for osteoporosis, so be careful giving corticosteroids to patients already at risk, such as elderly women. You may need to give calcium, vitamin D, or bisphosphonates alongside the steroids. R is for retardation of growth, and this is of course in pediatric patients. T is for the thinning of the skin, as well as easy bruising, and we can also remember delayed healing of wounds here as well. I stands for immunosuppression, giving a larger risk of infections, and the second C is to remind you of cataracts and glaucoma, specifically a posterior subcapsular cataract. The second O is for edema, and unfortunately we need to use the UK spelling to make this one work. This happens because steroids cause salt and therefore fluid to be retained within the body. Next we have S for suppression of the hypothalamic pituitary axis and T that stands for teratogenicity. Then we have E for emotional disturbances including depression, irritability and anxiety. R is for a rise in blood pressure, meaning hypertension. R can also help you remember right or left sided heart failure that can be worsened by corticosteroids due to the fluid retention. Our final O is for obesity, specifically central obesity. I is for an increase in body hair growth, known as hirstism. D stands for diabetes mellitus, because corticosteroids can lead to hyperglycemia. Then we have S, which stands for striae, which are red or purple marks that can be seen on the skin. Additionally, S also reminds us of stomach ulcers, which tend to happen mostly in patients that are taking NSAIDs as well, due to a potentiated risk of stomach ulcers.